the Let, Abrahamic religions, and that is why the problems are coming. You know, the, we uh, always as, try, as we you are always saying, try to as you are saying that all, as yeah. you are saying that I can see Rakesh Sinar in a way dying to uh, step in because Rakesh Sinar, what is being suggested by Anand Nilakantan has been said by others also that newfound political Hinduism with aggression and having been politically empowered is mimicking medieval Islam. That the kind of images now played out at Ram Nami were not the images that were played out 50 years ago. Sword wielding, slogan shouting is an aggression of warrior like Hinduism, which is replacing Hinduism's inclusive, tolerant character. I am disagreeing with such logic. Mm -hmm. Before independence, when Hindutva movement was not strong, mm -hmm. The, the region of disputes between Hindus and Muslims were the idol immersion, music and the root of the processions. These three issues for the not less than 100 years during the British regime hunted the British administration and the police. Then we realized that, that, that there was the rule of based on the uh, divide and rule. So Britishers enjoyed that, that fight between the Hindus and Muslims on some trivial issues. Rajdeep, we are living together for centuries and we will live together for, uh, for uh, the, the time span cannot be, uh, be, be said in, in words. We will live together. Why this dispute? No, I this take your point, but this, this sword, this sword has, wielding has images, power, so sir, I am not disputing what you are saying and we can go back in no, no. time and even Ganesh processions no, have Bhagwan, led to violence, Bhagwan, Bhagwan. but I, I ask you, you do know, you believe that these are the in, images in, of a in, new in, Hinduism or do they represent the traditions of Hinduism? Do you think that, do you think that, do you think that Bhagwan Ram's that image inspires for the violence or that Varoda violence is related to Bhagwan Ram's that image? It, is it Hindus who have thrown a stone on the Muslim houses? It's not, I am one of the persons who believe that there should be a solid unity between the two communities. Mm -hmm. And uh, here uh, 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 we become pseudo-secular when the question comes that they are the gundas. Mm -hmm. Not only gundas, they are inspired by the uh, religious sentiment. They are throwing stones on the day when there is holy Ramjan. And the Muslim, the liberal Muslims are failing. Okay, let, I let blame me, the liberal Muslims. Let me take that Before to Dr. Qureshi, sir. Failed, and after the independence, they are failing. Rakesh Sinha, let's take that to Dr. Qureshi. Dr. Qureshi, here is Rakesh Sinha saying that if stones are thrown on a procession, whatever be the provocation, unacceptable. You can't throw stones. According to Rakesh Sinha, liberal Muslims have failed by not being strong, tough enough against those who are misusing uh, or, or, or are taking law into their own hands by throwing stones on procession. Certainly in Vadodara, this is what was reported. This has also been reported in Jalgaon. Yes, obviously, the, anyone throwing stones at any other person's procession has to be uh, uh, booked. And the strongest possible action should be taken. But at the same time, uh, it should be investigated whether the people who are accused of throwing stones are... Uh, really the people who threw stones because we have also seen many uh, instances mm -hmm. where allegations were made uh, whereas uh, the people throwing stones were uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, different people. So we need a little bit of intellectual honesty there uh, and that has to come from the administration, from the police. They know if uh, we allow the, the SHO to uh, run the administration by textbook, nothing will happen. Because they know exactly who is the criminal, what is happening. So you're saying, as, you're saying as a former IS officer who served as a collector, no doubt, you're saying if the administration, whether police or the, uh, 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 the civil services acted firmly in a non-partisan manner, none of this would happen. Am I correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you want to respond, Rakesh Sinha, to what you just heard from Dr. Rakesh, Qureshi. He Rakesh. says, he says, there is, no. he condemns no, any my, form my, of stone penalty. My, my, Every, yes, liberal, I understood, I understood. every liberal Muslim cannot be held responsible no, for what happens on the street. Just as every liberal Hindu cannot be held responsible for, no, I, for I, violence. I, I, no, I, there are extremists in both communities. No, I am just telling you, Rajdeep. No, I am telling you that this is the month where we celebrate uh, 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 Bhagwan Ram's birthday. Mm -hmm. We know even the, there is no state. There is no police, there is no administration, there should not be any violence. Mm -hmm. If we have to take shelter of the state, police 
and administration to safeguard our procession, this means we are not united by heart. We are one people with div 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 divisive objective. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is my real concern. And my concern is that if there is a Ramjan, mm -hmm. if I am doing something which is going against their sentiment, then we are, we, I am not supporting the one nation, one people. This, this nation has been, uh, has, be, has, been, has been formed on the basis of one nation, one people. And I am really surprised that I, I consider Mr. Kuresi is a very, very intelligent person, very balanced person, but he is hiding and he is trying to hide the same of this uh, stone throwing and in the conspiracy theory. It might be done by some other. No, are you saying it's all, no, no, are you saying it's all one sided? No, let's be clear. Sir, Tali Dohat se bachti hai, nothing is one sided. No one, let's be clear, there are gunda elements in both communities. Sir, let's not say gundas are only in one community. There is no balancing act. Here, there is no balancing act. I am giving one example, Rajdeep, what, what happened in Ajmer. Mm. Mr. Kuresi must be knowing that in Ajmer there was a communal rights. Sardar, um, uh, uh, 800 people were arrested from the same community because they were involved. Here, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru intervened and said, no, arrest some other people because we have to balance. This balancing act is a very dangerous and detrimental for Sikhism. Okay. Anyone who is responsible must be booked. Yeah. But you don't do the balancing act. It's not Just about, for the sake of your image. It's not about this balancing act. We have to call, this, we have to call a spade a spade. Is, is a, your, is, is okay. a really black spot on our uh, liberal democracy. Okay, you're saying it's an example of pseudo-secularism. Vishwajit Bhattacharya, you want to respond at a time because this matter, even in the court yesterday,